Naveen Rebelli. Uh, my background is electronics electrical engineering. Uh, and I was working in Australia in a in automotive company. And I quit my job and started traveling around uh, New Zealand, Southeast Asia. And when I came to India, I started working with Reva. And it was really challenging because Reva is a new concept. It's got um, uh, the green concept. I like the, uh, I was quite impressed by what uh, the people in Reva are doing it. Uh, luckily I got a job there and when I, while I was working for Reva, I got introduced to this person called Louis Palmer from Solar Taxi. And when he, came, he gave a presentation of how he did uh, his he, uh, solar car, he made a solar car and travelled around the world. And that was quite the first motivation that I had, uh, that oh, probably what can I do, something like that similar to that. We had no idea, I had no idea how to start, what to do because I'd never worked in solar before. So it was probably it was just like a hit and trial, 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 trial. And I'm at the stage where it's, at the moment it's just running on a, a battery power, electricity power. And probably in the second stage we, if this works well, we're gonna have like solar panels on top. Yeah, it's gonna have solar panels on top and that should be easy. It's about uh, 8,800 kilometers from here to uh, London. Given that it's going to be sunny during the summer, I hope to get the most of the sun. It should take me about 90 days, theoretically, but I'm giving myself about 100 days across from India to Europe. Yeah, one of the major reasons is I want to create uh, like a awareness thing uh, that about the clean energy sources that are available. And I think it's First thing is it's really feasible. A person like me in a garage can make it and he can travel from, he can at least dream uh, of traveling from India to London. So maybe in the future we all can, you know, we can really uh, see it's quite possible. One more thing is very important for me is in, it's all the products are indigenous uh, from India and stuff, from the local markets. So yeah, it's, that's a major thing. Uh, yeah, the first thing is, um, I'm a technical guy, I want this to run at least 2,000 kilometers, 3,000 kilometers in India, uh, especially with the road conditions here, I want it to run without any problems. So if I go out of my garage, I should not have zero, I should have zero problems till I come back. That's my first goal. And which we are pretty much uh, getting it, the results are coming up. Uh, the next thing is we have to do, once that is done, we're going to make a body and then solar panels on top, that's stage 3, and then test it again, and then in the meantime we have to get uh, permissions, road, road permissions for restricted to be in Indian loans, so which we are talking to the High Commission, uh, what do you call, um, Transport Authority of India, Highways, Ministry of uh, Transport, they said they are happy to give us permission, so if that gets done, yeah, it's, next is a visas thing, visas to all these countries. I see opportunity is like, you know, it's available everywhere, especially in India. This is supposed to be winter and if you, if you see it's like plenty of sun, it's plenty of sun. Uh, so there's, we have free energy like available to us. All the, ch the challenging part is how we're going to use them, how we're going to use it. Yeah, that's the most challenging part. I feel like probably cost, cost effective way. Yeah, uh, it's, I think it's still about uh, four, maybe five years, six years down the lane. But uh, yeah, it's still quite possible. It's, it's, I can see that happening, especially with, there are already some companies in the US where they uh, customize your rooftop with solar panels and stuff. I think Reva is also coming up with uh, something like that. So it's uh, the work is going on, R&D is going on, probably about five years from the line will be available for the people to use it. So it's a small step.